So in this video, I wanted to tell you about an investment strategy which I use to multiply money. Yes, <laughs> you actually multiply money. Um, but the problem with it is that is because I am a very scared investor and I want to make sure that, you know, my investment is safe, I can only do that um, style of investing about once uh, every three, four years. Uh, but I'll still tell you about it because who knows, uh, maybe by the time you're seeing this video, the opportunity came. And just one small disclaimer, no, I'm not going to talk about, how do they say it? You know, your profits are at risk, your equity is at risk. No, I'm just going to talk about one thing quickly. Um, I know most of these videos are filmed, you know, by a guy probably wearing a suit, probably in a beach house or, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. I mean, I'm currently walking and I know it doesn't, it's not like the most amazing perception, but well, you know, if I wanted to do that, I could just take one of my suits I could rent a place or you know just for the sake of argument I could even come to your friend's house and just sit in his luxury apartment There's so many ways to do it <laughs> so you know just don't don't judge by the perception just because it looks rich doesn't mean it's rich and because it doesn't look rich because it's a guy walking it does not mean it's not good okay see beyond face value that's a quick lesson for you anyway um, my uh, investment strategy that I use I call it an SSL investment strategy safe small leveraged SSL safe small leveraged now why do I use these words? The reason I choose safe is because I want to protect my money. I don't like losing money. I don't care risking money for marketing or for a project. That's one thing because I trust myself, even if it's a big risk. But if I'm gonna invest my money, meaning letting my money make money for me, I'm going to want to see a very clear um, and high probability of success or else I'm not going to do it. So it has to be safe. It has to be something that I can depend on. But I don't like safe and boring. If it's just safe and boring, you know, I, I can just use that money and make money myself, <laughs> you know, by putting in marketing, stuff like that, because I can make a lot of money you know on my own with business so there's really no point of investing if it's really safe and small now the next part is small why small again <laughs> I don't like to lose money so I don't like to make investments where if I'm wrong I'm gonna lose a lot of money this might change if I see the right investment or if I once I have enough equity, but for now, uh, if I'm going to invest, I'm going to want something that's small, meaning that even in the off chance that I lose money, I want it to be a very small amount of money, something that won't hurt my pocket. Now, the next part is leveraged. Why leveraged? Because leveraging is fun. <laughs> Leveraging is what makes life fun. When you leverage, it means uh, you multiply the risks, but you also multiply the rewards. You basically can use an X unit of cash to do what 10X units of cash can do, uh, but they can also fall as hard as 10X units of cash can, even though you have only one X unit of cash. Now, how does that make sense? How can I say it's safe, but it's also leveraged? Because the whole idea of leveraged is uh, high risk. 
Well, let me tell you. What I do is I wait every couple of years for a global meltdown, something really, really bad. I wait for a certain commodity, country, anything to steadily drop for many years. <laughs> I mean, for many months. Meaning, for example, the oil crisis at the end of 2014, beginning 2015. That was a steady decline. Oil went from 120 to about 40, a bit more than 40, in about six, seven, eight months. Steadily, linearly, predictably. Perhaps we're talking about the global, uh, you know, <laughs> mortgage crisis in 2008. I mean, that once shit started falling for a couple of months, I mean, it was pre pretty clear it's not going to stop. So what I do if I want to be a bit safe is I wait for a very, very consistent long term decline. And if I want to be super safe, I wait until the news uh, create a media, media crisis about it. For example, with the oil, you know, the news at one point, uh, very late, by the way, in the cycle, uh, just started freaking out saying, OK, it's the end of the world. When you see that, it has to continue. Just out of the sheer psychological nature of human beings, it has to continue. So I wait for something that's like a no-brainer, something that's going to keep dropping no matter what, that I would bet my life on. And then I take a small amount of money, usually a couple of hundred dollars, or with my today's wealth, a small amount of money would be a couple of thousand dollars. And I invest into that thing falling. So it's like I'm betting against it. It's called shorting, short. You can look it up on Google. And what that means is that the more the price lowers the value, the more money I make. Now, the cool thing about it is that if I leverage it by say one to a hundred or one to two hundred which you can easily do in many uh, kind of forex trading apps and other systems for that what that means is that if the oil for example falls from 75 70 uh, which is about right about the point where the media started freaking out to to 50 that's about a 40% uh, decline. Now, 40% decline, when you multiply in a leverage of one to 200, meaning that for every 1%, you get 200%. Obviously, the opposite also exists. For every 1% lost, you lose 200%. Then for 40%, you essentially are able to make uh, 40 times, um, <laughs> a lot <laughs> uh, basically 40% times uh, 200 so um, so that would be about uh, 400 for 8,000 percent yep <laughs> meaning 80 times your money which I did successfully basically I took about $500 or $400 and turned them into about ten twenty thousand dollars I sorry I can't remember the amounts um, because of the conversions it's a bit confusing but again it's extremely effective it's extremely good strategy and all you basically do is wait for a disaster and then when a disaster happens you basically take an amount of money that you're willing to sacrifice small amount that even if you lose everything it's not a big deal and you, you could say you bet that money, you could bet that amount to, to basically multiply. And because it's high risk, uh, if, the, if the value goes up against you, you could easily lose that money and you know, lose your position. Meaning, again, lose the money. <laughs> um, you can't go in debt though, because it doesn't work that way. You just, you know, it just goes up half percent, for example. If it's a leverage of 1 to 200, meaning, again, 200 times the power, uh, if it goes up 
against you by 50% by 0.5% uh, that's you know the times 200 that's 100% uh, meaning you lost all your money but again that's why you're willing to use a very small amount or you can reinvest multiple times till you kind of get it right and once you actually go once you actually go down the <laughs> the, the steady uh, drop you pretty much can ride it as low as you want as long as, long as you feel comfortable and you can even reinvest the profit so let's say again you started on oil with at 80 percent it went down to uh, 60 percent that's a 25 percent uh, decrease meaning you multiply your money by 20. now you can take uh half of that so let's say you used a uh, hundred dollars hundred dollars times 20 is two thousand dollars so you can take that hundred dollars which turn into two thousand you can take a thousand reinvest it and now you have a chance of multiplying again and you can take the other thousand and just uh, keep it and now you're not even playing with your money so you already made a massive profit and if oil then goes down from 60 to 40 that's another 35 percent decline because <laughs> every time you uh, come back in the game again going from uh, 80 to 60 percent that's 25 percent going from uh, uh, 60 to 40 that's about a 35 percent 40 percent because the more late you start the the bigger the percentages because there's a smaller thing to actually diminish now again if that doesn't make sense please let me know in the comments you can easily clarify that with simple uh, math <laughs> So I'll show you in the comments if you have uh, a misunderstanding. But yeah, the idea is pretty simple. Um, and again, I did that. I, unfortunately, I only did that once, but it works. It works amazing. And again, it's not like a specific strategy that's only you know compatible with a specific market or it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ideology or philosophy or a, <laughs> A general attitude towards investing so don't look at it like you know I like guess like this special super secret thing it's just a very very funny way of looking at investing that really fits my personality which again I feel really good about again SSL so it's small it's safe and it's leveraged you take a bit of money in a really really good investment and you just fuck the shit out of it with leverage and uh, you know if you do it right you could uh, take a chunk of money and multiply it by 10 15 times I'm not even exaggerating and I'm talking about you know a couple of days a couple of weeks so next time there's a disaster a really really bad thing going on in the market you can bet I'm going to tell you so you should follow the channel and subscribe but you're definitely going to see me there and believe me I'm building up wealth and equity as we speak and waiting for that next disaster because right now if that disaster comes what I would consider small would be taking five thousand dollars maybe turning it in, into five chunks of a thousand and just throwing it out there you know thousand here a thousand there and if one of them hits a thousand could turn into twenty thousand or more or less but you know it's it, basically the idea is to multiply it at least ten times over but um, hopefully <laughs> the next disaster is gonna wait a bit I thought it might come when uh, um, it, uh, to be more precise pe most people thought it's gonna happen when uh, Trump was elected but that's not the way it works I'm not talking about you know psychological fear like something happened people are really scared for a couple of days I'm talking about disasters which happen you know <laughs> fortunately every five ten years so I hope that by then um, a small amount of money would be taking fifty thousand dollars or five hundred thousand right. taking that amount and basically multiplying it to 
make massive leveraged profits. So let me know if anything in this didn't make sense, uh, wasn't completely explained to you. I also made a, a written guide uh, for my book. Uh, basically my book contains every single thing that happened to me in life that's uh, worth noting. <laughs> and all the stories that I have out of it. Uh, you know, I, at 22, I already have a pretty crazy life. Like, you could already make a movie about my life at this point. Um, and, and I just uh, made like a really long, detailed, like five, six page guide of exactly what I'm talking about here. So if you want the guide, I can send specifically the guide to you. Uh, just uh, write in the comments that you want it and your email and you'll get it. So thanks for watching. Hope this helped you a lot. And um, no, subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> and like I said, I'll be no I'll be notifying you about the next uh, global crisis.